Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, today I've got a guest on from Peter Bray, who's Jacob uh, from Peter Fan TV. So uh, he's on Twitter. Any Peter fans don't like that, but do look at this. I advise you to go on and uh, see Jacob. A uh, decent guy, good guy. He's coming on. We're going to have a discussion about Bounds versus Peter because we're travelling to Peter Bray. So I just want to introduce uh, Jacob. How are we going? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. Uh, so we've got you on uh, today. We're going to discuss, uh, obviously, the bands are uh, coming down to uh, Peterborough tomorrow. Uh, two two sides, I think it's fair to say, what are struggling for a bit of form at the minute. Uh, just wanted to know, Adi, has your season been going on? Because uh, obviously you got promoted from League One. What's championship? Is it a bit harder than what you expected, Jacob? Yeah, um, we've, we found it tough. Um, we, we are... 22nd, of course, and that's where we're probably meant to be around there at the end of the season, trying to fight for survival. Um, mm. It's been tough, of course, on the road. We're not very good. We've been conceding lots of goals. Um, we're just looking out of shape away from home. But at home, we're quite decent. So, yeah. That, that's what you're wanting. I mean, we we played Swansea on uh, Wednesday night. Yeah, and, okay. yeah, and to be fair... It was. It, I mean, even our manager came out and said if he were a fan watching it, it it'd be bored and fell, fell asleep kind of thing. It was one of them. Um, I don't think their goalkeeper broke sweat. We just. It was just like yeah, we were about well, sixty eight minutes and we're still nil nil against the good Swansea side. Swansea were passing, but we still weren't clinical enough. Um, and for me, my best player what uh, on the night was uh, Devante Cole. It, it managed to get substituted off for some reason. Uh, so that's going to be interesting when we come down to your place. Uh, we're struggling for form at the minute as well. New manager, what we, uh, what's coming at uh, Poye, uh, Aspiagi. We thought to the men an impact. It's too early to call at the minute because uh, he's still got to, you know, note plays kind of thing. So what I, uh, what, I've, what he has done, though, is gone from a three at back to playing four at back. So I don't know what uh, we're going to be expecting when we come down to... Uh, Peter Brick, because uh, Ferguson's a pretty decent manager. Uh, he's, he's been about a bit like so. Do you think you see Peter Brick as a chance to win against Barnsley tomorrow and try and uh, be? Because you just said you were good at home as well, didn't you? Yeah, I think I think we can. I think you, of course, you lot are not in very good form. We 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 moved the ball about really nicely, so it'll be a tough test for you lot. Um, as I said, we're good at home, and yeah. Does does uh, Ferguson still from like League One to go into Championship? Is he still playing the attacking football, or is he is he playing a more direct kind of way? Yeah, we we have scored quite a few goals this season, so he, he's still using that attacking route. So, and do you think he uh, recruited well in summer with transfers? Any any players coming in, or you thought yeah, he's going to make a, a difference to Peterborough? Well, we, we have recruited some very young players, like of Randall from Exeter, who's we signed for like a million pounds, Poppy from Colchester, mm. very good, uh, Tomlinson from Eastleigh, but they've been all using them 23, so we haven't we've got really like a chance to see them in the first team. But we haven't. what we needed is someone like very experienced in this league, because if you, if you get someone like a, a striker in this league who can score goals, then I think you can stay up. Yeah, uh, uh, set, great sentiments that because we we uh, vast majority of Bandley fans are uh, saying the same thing as well because we've, we've got some like good young players in and I think you know the average age is about 23, 24 but you I think in Championship as well you need some experience in there because we Premier League teams and they're coming down parachute payments they, they've got some really good players so I think. It's okay getting young players in, but you also need that bit of experience to help them out. Uh, when it, uh, Ishmael left Barnsley um, and Mowit, they both went to influential characters, and I think we've missed that this season. So um, going back to Peterborough, who would you say is the most influential player or players you've got at Peterborough? What can make a difference? Well, so far this season, Sariki Dembele, very skillful. Mm. He's very hard to compete against. He'll, he'll give you some problems. And, of course, we've also got uh, Sammy Smodix, who, who fights the ball every time. Um, he, he he just works 
his socks off. And we've also got Johnson Clark Harris, of course, who scored 30 plus goals last season. He hasn't really, of course, he had that four match ban, which was kind of harsh, but he hasn't really uh, fulfilled the championship level he has had done so far this season. So hoping to see more of Clark Harris and hoping he can try and score a goal tomorrow to get the win for us. And do you think he's one of them kind of players as well, Jacob, that once he scores a you know a couple of goals, confidence will come back and it might kick start and like uh, get some more goals after that. Do you think that might happen? Yeah, it could it could happen and unless he just competes. Um of course he is very physical striker, but he's also sometimes lazy, so he doesn't really like press like Sammy Smollett and Sir Dembele. So mm. he He's still a bit unfit, so we're still trying to get him a bit more like fit. So mm. I, it's, it, I think there's still moments to come for him, but I think it, he's just taking his time at the minute. Yeah, and and what we've uh, been mentioning previous as well to uh, other people and that, and his fixtures coming up, <clears throat> you'll know yourself come uh, get in December. They've come pretty thick and fast. Uh, We'll be playing a Saturday, then we'll be like uh, a weekend, then we'll be Boxing Day, then you go into January, FA Cup. So it's uh, on about that match fitness as well. What you've just highlighted there is that you're wanting to try and keep fit for a winter period because there's that many games coming up like now. And if a bit like us at Barnsley is that your, your priority in ours is as well stopping at league. I think an FA Cup run can be good if you get a big team, but do you really want an FA Cup run if you're playing a lesser team and the possibility of picking up injuries? You know what I mean? I'd rather stay in league kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, good point on that with match fitness, what you've just been on about there. Uh, what kind of formation do you play, uh, Jacob, at, at Peterborough? Well, we like, to, we like to play a three at the back, so a three for one two, but it doesn't normally work because last season we had a 4 2 three, one, and it just suited us very well. And we and Ferguson hasn't really been playing that so far this season, so we'd like to see him a bit more of a four-two-three-one rather than a three-four-one-two. Hmm, that's interesting, that because we we under Ishmael and Ben Shop who recently got uh, relieved of his duties. He he also played a three at back as well, you know. And since uh, Pius came in, he's gone to the four-two-three-one formation. Hmm. Uh, I think on Wednesday against Swansea. Players were still getting coming to terms with it, um, even more so down at wings. We were feeling as I, I mean, I'm sat in Pontefract Road, and uh, when you're behind goal, and you can see the amount of times Swans were spraying ball out to wings, and it was just acres and acres of space. But then when it needed to, they crossed it and overlapped it. Some of what we didn't manage to do, and we couldn't keep up to that. So I'm hoping that um, since Wednesday, he's had a couple of days on training pitch, new new boss where the players trying to get this in. Um, I'm hoping, it'll, it'll, I think there'll be a few changes, to be fair. Um, I'm hoping Devante Cole starts again because I think we're just starting to come into it. Um, so going back to formation and stuff like that, it'd be interesting to see then if we if, if you'll play that 4 2 3 one and we do as well to try and match it up. What can, who, who should uh, Barnes be wary of? What what players or you know player is standing out for you at the moment this season? Well, as I've said, to Ricky Dembele, but mm. we've also got Nathan Thompson, who's really getting into this league. Probably been our best player defender so far this season. Has a lot of energy, and he's just he just works hard so much. Mm. Hard, yeah. A bit like us, we've got we've got like players, but we just seem to be even out of form or confidence is lacking. It seems to be, I mean, you could say Josh Benson in midfield, but then when we were watching him, or when I was watching him, sorry, on, on Wednesday, he seems to be passing a lot of balls without even looking. It was just like hitting up kind of thing. Uh, Jordan Williams had a good game at uh, left back, even though he's a right back, he, he played well. Devante Cole, I've just said. Woodrow is not the same player we used to be. Um, and then going, you could go all the way through the team, really. Uh, Styles last season, and then this season, just a completely different player. Again, whether it's lacking confidence, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, because people have like commented to me before and said, well, you were fifth in uh, playoffs last season. How come you down here? You know what I mean? So a big, a massive turnaround for us. Uh, so at this moment in time, for me, Barnsley, I'd say Devante Cole, if he starts, uh, 
Josh Benson possibly in midfield if he if he can get on, on, back on his game. And I'm hoping Harry Styles uh, and Callum Britton have a, a a better game than what they, I know what they can do, what they, what they can achieve to do. I think it's just confidence missing. And if you're losing all the time or you're not, the results not going your way, then it's gonna it's gonna knock you. Um, so we've gone through score. Uh, we're gonna come up to score predictions. So we we sort of formations that kind of thing. Um, what do you think the score will be then, uh, Jacob tomorrow? Um, I think we're gonna win two 0 I think I'm, we're really confident at home mm. because, as I said, we love to move the ball about at home. I think it will. We'll just have a bit too much for you, Law. I think um, Dembele, as I've said, will cause you problems. I think he'll score. And I think if Johnson Clark Harris turns up tomorrow, I think he'll score as well. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd, I'd take a draw all day long. Uh, I think it, it, our inconsistency at minute is just not being clinical enough in front of goal. Um, so, I'm just wanting an improvement in performance, mainly as well. A vastly improved performance. I mean, when his manager actually came out after the game and said he could have fell asleep, if, you know, it's that's bad from a manager kind of thing. Uh, uh, really, uh, my heart, I, I want to win, but going away, I think you're going to be looking for at least a draw. So, um, I'd be, I think it could be 1 1. Uh, but like I said, you know, you, you're pretty decent at home. So, if you can get back. Goal, early goal, your confidence might go up and our confidence might drop down as his might drop. So, uh, Jacob's going to go 2-0 uh, for Posh. I'm going to go one apiece to the Tykes. Um, all being well, I just hope it's a, it's a good game. Um, and after this, all the season's turn around. Uh, or, you know, obviously, Peter stop up and we step, stop up as well. Uh, but it's been great having you on Jacob and gains an insight into uh, Peter Burner, everything like that. And like I said, guys, if you don't know him, it's Peter Fans TV. He's a good guy. So I want to appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Jacob, for coming on, mate. I appreciate that. Um, and what we will do uh, uh, when you come up to uh, Barnsley, uh, what we'll do, we'll, we'll uh, come on again. All being well as fortunes have changed and we're both up at mid table. Uh, and we'll, we'll go through discussions again and see what happens then, mate. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Not a problem, not a problem. So, like I said, thanks to Jacob for joining me on Tax TV. Thank you for everybody what's uh, been watching. Please leave your likes and uh, comments in the description below. Um, you Reds. <laughs>